taken this article from the hindu new lease of life for climate change now you can relate this article with your general studies paper 3 environment and conservation the topic is life at the cop 26 summit at the cop 26 summit of the unfcc prime minister modi had launched a concept called as life which is lifestyle for environment what do we mean by this lifestyle for environment basically it means that we the behavioral nudge that the people have to be given and the behavioral change that people need to acquire in order to mitigate the climate risk in order to mitigate all the changes that are occurring, occurring on the planet earth due to climate change it's not it's just not only about the bigger decisions that the that are made at the bigger summits it's rather the behavioral change that the people have to acquire so as to so as to ultimately mitigate the climate change and adopt to the risk which are posed by the climate change so the writer uh, have particularly focused on this concept called life and so he begins so the writer sorry not uh, there is no one writer there are many writers so the writers they they begin with the context that why do we need such nudge and why do we require life which is lifestyle for environment the first thing that the writers raises is that the turmoil that the world is facing the first thing that the writers talks about is about the climate change you can consider the reports by world meteorological organization ipcc united nation environment program etc etc that these reports which suggest that the world is moving towards the global warming and the present efforts in fact the ipcc report said the report ipcc it said that the present efforts which the world is taking are not sufficient to keep the level uh, to keep the temperature of the earth below 1.5 degrees celsius of the pre industrial level which is the objective basically and the steps which we which are being taken by the world country which are being taken by the countries whether developed or developing or least developed countries they are not sufficient however the lifestyle which is a lifestyle for environment as proposed by india has many uh, many references with respect to the accountability and the responsibility that the developed countries need to take uh, need to take writers points towards the havoc which was caused by the covid-19 pandemic that the how that how the world um, it stood still during two years of the lockdown the war between ukraine and russia is also fueling the devastated fueling the uh, fuels a devastating energy the food crisis food inflation and rising cost of living recurring urban, urban heat and uh, recurring uh, droughts and floods etc they all points towards the climate change which is induced by the anthropological by the anthropogenic activities not anthropological but anthropogenic activities united nation development program has warned that the global human development measures they have declined across most countries in the past 2 years now if you see that the achievement which were made in order to achieve the sustainable development goals by 2030 we have basically regressed regressed in the past 2 years and this is according to the united nation development program right writer points towards the triple planetary crisis that the that the planet earth is facing and what are these triple planetary crises there are three important points that needs to be uh, taken care of well, the first thing is the climate change this is the first crisis that the world is facing the second crisis is the pollution right in fact if you consider the air quality index of delhi ncr it is still at the poor level and the uh, and the grap which is the grading response action plan stage 2 has been kicked in this is in the newspaper in today's newspaper it was said the grap stage 2 has been has be, uh, has been uh, into action because of the because of the deteriorating quality of the air so air quality index of delhi ncr is still poor level and it might deteriorate if the proper steps are not taken so pollution is one reason biodiversity loss if we consider the report by ipcc then it says that in the past 50 decades 50% of the 
fifty percentage of the flora and flora have gone extinct. And if we remember, then then Australian mammal, the Austra an Australian mammal by the name. Uh, I have forgotten the name. I have, I am not sure about the name. It has gone extinct, and it is considered as the only mammal to have gone extinct due to the anthropogenic activities in the past decade. All right. So biodiversity loss is there, pollution is there, climate change is also there. So writer has given context that why do we need life? In such, due to such reasons, we would be requiring a lifestyle that is pro environment. That is pro environment. The writer points towards the record-breaking heat waves, floods, droughts, other extreme forms of weather. Nine of the warmest years. It's not none. It's actually nine. All right. So nine of the warmest years have been recorded in the last years alone. Last ten years, probably. The Paris Agreement and COP26 summit they represented urgent need and collective action which is required. to mitigate the climate change now let's come to the life the right the main concern or the main point of the writer the life gives a fresh perspective to the to the activities undertaken to mitigate the climate change and to adapt to humanity sustainability uh, to such changes all right it was announced by the prime minister of india at the cop 26 in glasgow and it brings a fresh and must needed perspective to the to the actions which are being taken whether we consider the actions like methane pledge and carbon neutrality by 2050 all right for example uk european union etc so they all are going to become carbon neutral by 2050 So, what is this carbon neutrality? It means we are going to absorb as much as carbon as we are going to emit. We are going to make it neutral, right? So, but life will give a fresh perspective to such activities. It recognizes that small individual actions can tip balance in the planet's favor. That means an initiative taken at the personal level. an initiative taken at the personal level will contribute will go on to contribute highly to the actions which are taken at the global level what does life aim at it aims to cultivate mindful choices when it comes to energy saving when it comes to resource efficiency when it comes to the circular economy when it comes to inducing behavioral change for example india banned plastic single use plastic by 2022 where there uh, there will be complete ban um, on single use plastic and also the plastic guidelines have been issued by the fresh plastic guidelines have been issued by the government of india so as to minimize the usage of the plastic and shift towards the better eco friendly alternatives like jute bags paper bags cloth bags etc life can be achieved by deploying nudges now what are these nudges for example the producers pay concept the producers pay concept like those who pollute are going to pay all right so this producers pay concept ban on single use plastics these are what these are the nudges that are that the government of india is uh, is putting uh, i mean is pushing people towards the better alternatives towards adopting a lifestyle which is more eco friendly so in order to encourage positive behavior positive behavior the united nation environment program employs proven nudging techniques such as discouraging food wastage by offering smaller plates in cafeterias encouraging recycling bin like recycling so unep says that we have to inculcate these habits in people of recycling so making the making the lids of the dustbin so attracted that people are attracted towards dustbin and put their garbage in dustbin rather than littering on the road so this is what the united nation environment program is talking about like these are the small nudges small behavioral nudges that citizen 
has to be given they are to be given so so as to shift their behavior towards uh, towards more environment friendly practices adoption of greener alternatives for example green hydrogen for example electric vehicles etc consumption habits consumption habits now the writer talks about the india's track record so you see the pm has called for a war to become pro planet people by 2027 the prime minister and the general secretary of united nations they talks about making people pro planet that means adopting certain behaviors which are more eco friendly by 2027 simple lifestyle simple lifestyle using less water consuming less water and um, making habits in such a way so as not to pollute the environment small small habits like not using plastics genuinely not just because the government has banned it or just because the government has brought new guidelines or laws but as a matter of responsibility as a matter of accountability which we have towards our nature because this is the only planet we have so small steps taken at individual le- uh, level would collectively improve the environment and it will lead to a transformation and change life recognizes the responsibility and accountability and it is relative to the contribution now here the life talks about the cbdr which is common but differential responsibilities developed countries have succeeded in industrialization and now they have reached to a point to basically at a level where further industrialization would amount to pollution of environment only and still we have got the india like developing countries such as india and least developed countries in south africa who do not who face the worst uh, who face the risk uh, of climate change but still they have not contributed enough to cause the climate change let's give the example of pakistan now general secretary of united nation himself said that the pakistan's carbon emission is not even 1% of the global and still it faces worst threat of global warming recent floods recent floods have caused havoc here india is also in the same position india has not contributed much to the we will see that what is the track record of india that india is, has also not contributed much to carbon emission and still it faces the risk uh, according to the global risk index so life recognizes the responsibility and accountability according to the consumption in proportion to the consumption emission across the poorest half of the world's population combined still fall short of even 1% of the wealthiest all right now comes to india's efforts towards achieving the achieving the uh, goal of sustainable development and mitigating climate change prime minister modi at cop 26 announced panchamit now what is what is this panchamit these are the five steps or five measures that the gov- that the government of india is going to undertake so as to achieve the carbon neutrality carbon neutrality by 2070 reduce the carbon intensity less than 45% by 2030 reducing the carbon emission to to 1 billion by to to 1 billion by 2030 fulfill the 50% energy requirement by renewable energy by 2030 and reach the non fossil fuel energy capacity to 500 gigawatt by 2030 now these are the five goals which india wants to achieve by 2030 and by 2070 which is carbon neutrality goal now let's come to an important concept which is the which is the planetary adjusted hdi planetary adjusted hdi 
India has ranked according to the Human Development Index. India ranked one thirty one. However, it ranked one hundred and twenty three in Planetary Adjusted Human Development Index because its per capita emission and material footprint are well below the global average. Right, it's because of this reason. The onus on now the writer talks about the onus on the developed world. The first thing that it says that the life resonates with the climate justice. It highlights the responsibility and the enhanced obligation on the developed countries. Talks about that the carbon footprint of a person in high income country is eighty times more than the carbon footprint of a person in the least developed countries. So here life. Congruent, uh, it's it it congruent with the CBDR. It is a better time of India. Why it is a better time of in for India? India has launched many initiatives when it comes to mitigating the climate change. International Solar Alliance, CDRI, South South Cooperation. However, now India has the opportunity because India is going to, is going to, um. Have G twenty presidency from December two thousand twenty two to November two thousand twenty three. So India is going to take G twenty presidency. So now here you can link with the forest led forest led cope an article. You will find this article in the playlist. that the writer talks about that how the next cop 27 summit should be focused on the forest so you can relate these two articles and take out the important points for from your uh, for your examination if a exam if a question is asked based on that uh, what what the world can do or what india should do when it comes to um, how relevant the g20 presidency is for india so you can give these context so if you if you listen to this article and combine with the present uh, with the today's with today's article you will understand the importance of g20 presidency that india is going to have and also the importance of the importance of the measures that india is taking towards mitigating climate change all right so this is what india has so that's it for today thank you very much for watching tarunais Oh, oh, oh.